<laughs> definitely, definitely. All right, moving on to our next topic. We're talking about PUBG. Uh, this was uh, from the Korea Times, written by Jun Jihai. Uh, PUBG takes U.S. game firm to court. Uh, actually, can I full screen this? That's a full screen, actually. Uh, Korean game developer PUBG, a sub uh, sub I cannot say this word, <laughs> uh, of Bluehole, has filed a copyright violation lawsuit against U.S.-based Epic Games, taking a court to determine whether the latter's Fortnite was copied from the former uh, b uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. A PUBG official said Friday that the firm filed an injunction uh, alleging copyright infringement with the Seoul Central District Court against Epic Games Korea. Uh, quote, we uh, filed a suit to protect our copyright in January, said the official. Uh, released in July last year, Fortnite on an online shooter has recently become popular around the world, threatening the popularity of Battlegrounds. That was a great hit in the global market last year. When Fortnite was launched, the game had only the save the world mode at which gamers build walls and defended it. But in September, the firm added fr the free-to-play uh, free battle royale portion into the game, provoking plagiarism, controversy, and allegations that it copied Battlegrounds items and user interface. Um, and I'll link this. I mean, if they if they did infringe on copyright just by the idea of doing a battle royale, that's ridiculous. But if it's more in line with the idea that Epic built their game to look like PUBG, that's that's a different thing. And if that's the case, then then absolutely Blue Hole has a has a has a uh, a dog in the fight here. Um, but it's such it's such a weird topic to I don't know. Like, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I first heard about it, is that it's I think this is actually going to be hard for Blue Hole to actually have a case against uh, Epic Games, only because if you really think about it. Uh, both Fortnite and PUBG are just simply a mod that was uh, that they took on their own to make their own game from another game. Um, because if you go through the timeline of events prior to this, uh, it was H1Z1 that was the well. Okay, and on then, that note, PUBG PUBG is not a mod. I know they made their own own game, but like they they took the idea of that mod and made it to their own game. So they really want to get into the nitty gritty in terms of like infringement per se. They have to look at not only what they're doing, but also technically they're infringing on well, that's H1Z1. Like, I, don't, I don't think I don't think Blue Hole. I need to look at the the actual lawsuit again, but I do not think that Blue Hole is suing for the battle royale aspect. You can't see me as quotation fingers here, but I hope <laughs> that my words make sense. Right. right. Um, it. I think that they're suing for like the idea of the battle royale. Is because again, they can't sue on that. That's not a thing that they own. Yeah, exactly. But the um, the idea of like the compass at the top of the screen and how the map slowly closes in in a giant circle, like little things like that, seem like they were created in for for PUBG and Fortnite just kind of borrowed that. Exactly. Um, exactly. And if that's some, if they if they have copyrights on that stuff, then that's what they can sue for. Um. Because, like, there was a game that came out before H1Z1 did their thing, and that was, and arguably, by the way, just to throw this out here, Player Unknown played that for, played, or he helped create that, that H1Z1 Battle Royale mode. Exactly. And then, yeah. and then he, he went with a different studio to build PUBG from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that being said, uh, there was a game that came out before, um, in the H1Z1 mod, and that was called the Culling. Yep. And the Culling was a battle royale game. Yep. So, so they definitely don't. They cannot sue for that. Yeah. What they can sue for are for other things. And and I've heard, I could be wrong, but from the very little things that I've heard, they're not. They're what they're suing for is like specific guns that look similar. Um, yeah, it's it's a weird thing. They're they're suing over the UI and the game and the guns that look similar, which is yeah. which is weird because 
most most modern first person shooters they they all have you know different guns, but they all look very similar. I mean, like the source of what they're what they're copying from is an actual gun. So like, it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. I don't think this lawsuit will go anywhere, as Scooch said in the chat. Um, I think that the other. I'm interested to see where it does go, regardless. True. Like... True. Very true. The other thing I will say is the other conversation that is taking place because of this lawsuit um, is the fact that because Fortnite is so huge right now that uh, PUBG is, uh, is is having sour grapes. Like they're not as happy, or they're not their game is not oh, on looks... top. Like yeah. So that's and that's that's definitely a, a that's a slightly different issue because the first time that like Fortnite did their thing. There was people at Blue Hole, people that worked for Blue Hole that were pissed. And it, we talked about it. We talked about how they were mad on this podcast. And this just kind of furthers that, like, I'm angry because I don't, like, you you copied my toy sort of attitude. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely, like, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see where this goes. Um, I mean, you have to understand where, you know, Blue Hole's coming from. They created a thing that made them a lot of money. It was very popular. Right, uh, right, right. And suddenly somebody else is doing it arguably better. And that stings a lot. Right. So I understand where they're coming from. Do I think they're approaching it in the right way? No, absolutely not. <laughs> they're, it, it, they're... It, I mean, PR wise, they're making it worse for themselves, honestly. Um, yeah, I will say yeah, I will they, I, just to add one more layer to this entire uh, this entire thing that's happening right now. Um, this was filed in Korea, so this lawsuit is in Korea, but it's it's of a U.S. game company in the U.S. Epic Games. So I'm not sure how that is going to play out. Like, does not that bad, Josh? Not that bad. <laughs> like I'm curious. That was that's a that's a smammering. This is <laughs> this is more like Fortnite. Fortnite like took a, a, a quite a few PUBG players, but if you go and and look at like what people are arguing about between Fortnite versus PUBG, there's a huge number of PUBG players that still exist. So yeah, and for and for those listening on the podcast, um, uh, in the, in the chat, uh, he says, "You mean uh, Josh puts in? You mean like GoBots versus Transformers?" That's right. We don't have chat on screen like we do on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, it's. It's interesting. I there's a lot of moving parts to this to this lawsuit, um, and I'm curious to see where exactly it goes. Like, does it does it stay in Korea? Do they have to bring representatives from from the U.S. to there, or do they have to come to the U.S. for it to uh, to to be in court? Like, there's so it's it's interesting the fact that this is happening, but like it's also very interesting the fact that because they're in two completely different countries, we don't know exactly how the results are going to be. And right yeah it's it's and this is probably going to be like 2020 here's the results of this thing so like that it's is true be a long time. yeah like it's we're, be a long time. we're not going to see that we're not going to see the end of this um for a very long time so like um right i do like how you the stock footage you grabbed was just for or was just PUBG. Yeah. None Fortnite. So just <laughs> makes me laugh. I mean, because like, um, I mean, because the story is about PUBG suing so Fortnite. <laughs> well, that's PUBG versus Fortnite, so it's not like uh, anyway. Yeah. Point is, I like to also bring up something that Scrooge says that he's. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Scrooge <laughs> or, or Scrooge. It's Scooge. Jesus. Um, you're absolutely correct. The Xbox version is broken. It barely works if you don't have an Xbox One X, um, which fucking sucks. Um, yeah, that's their thing too. And then yeah. And then on top of that, the only way to play PUBG is with a decent computer or an Xbox. Guess what I can play uh, Fortnite on? Everything except for the Switch. That, and guess what? Yeah. That's a rumor for E3. Yeah, that is true. That is true, which we actually will talk about at the last segment, I think, depending on what they uh, showcase on the, on the website. But yeah right now pub blue hole is not in, in terms of what PUBG is right now in terms of like what the game is in terms of like accessibility and how it works in various you know pc console variations my, uh, yeah my favorite thing about playing PUBG on xbox was i'd go into a house all of a sudden get stuck load inside a couch and then fall through the map that was <laughs> super fun all the time yeah yeah and, it, um, and there's definitely that conversation of that of the game is just not on performing well but also not not fixed yet per se or like they're still 
Like, there's still issues with the game that they have not addressed. I, here's, I mean, my personal thing, I'm not a big fan of the, the Battle Royale game type as a whole. It's not something that interests me. To me, it's 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 80% scrounging around, uh, 15% um, hoping that you don't get seen, and then 5% battle. You spend, on both games, on average, 20 minutes doing nothing but looking for better guns, and maybe fucking 30 seconds fighting. It's not that much fun, in my opinion. I get why people like it. I get why it's popular. Fuck, it's not entertaining to me at all. So, for me, I'm definitely a third-party outsider looking at this story because I don't have, as Josh would say, a leg in this race. <laughs> um, I, I, I clap for that one. I clap for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated to see how that one ends. For sure. Same here. Same here. Um, all right, moving on to our next topic at hand, and 